guys, my name is Gila James Gill and welcome to a walkthrough of the Sims Free Play Need for Steed quest. This quest unlocks at level 11 in the game and it is part of the main quest. So as soon as it is available to you, as soon as you have got to the right level and completed any previous quests that you need to do before you can start this one, you will get this pop-up that says new quest available, Need for Steed. There is a two day time limit on this quest. It used to be that there was a seven day time limit on this quest and it was slightly different but they have changed it now to a two day time limit. Horses have been spotted on Mystery Island. Give them a home and your sims will be able to care for them. We're going to go ahead and get started with this in a minute. Hopefully you watched the previous quest, the Raiders of the Lost Artifacts and you have already built your promotions out of store because you do need that built for this quest that will just help you to be able to do it within the time limit. If you haven't seen one of these videos before, this is your series. You need to comment down below for any sims that you want in the game. I can name a sim after you. You can let me know how they look, who you want them to be married to, what relationships you want them to have within the game. Let me know anything down below and also baby names. I'm always looking for sim baby names. So let me know those down below in the comments. But let's get started with this and let's have a look at what the prizes are for this quest. So if we complete it within the time limit, we will get a rainbow powered unicorn painting, which is pretty neat. It's nothing major in all honesty. So, I mean, it's quite nice, but honestly, if, you did, if I didn't have by my town, I probably wouldn't be that bothered. So it's no major deal with completing it within the time limit as far as I'm concerned. And when we complete this quest, we will gain access to horses and a brand new area for your Sims to interact with them. The first thing we need to do is to spot horses with a telescope. Do your sims eyes deceive them or was that a horse wandering around between the trees? Best check to be sure. Tap the telescope and choose look for horses. This is where we need the promotions art or store. Like I say, hopefully you have built it. If you haven't built it, you need to head over to Simtown and get it started to build now. Like straight away because this is going to, you're probably going to struggle with completing this within the time limit if you haven't got the promotions art or store built already. I have got it built, hopefully you have too. If you go inside it, you can buy various items for careers and for hobbies. So we want to buy a telescope. So you go ahead and you buy it. It's 3,490 simoleons and it will go over into your infantry. So we want to go to a house and we want to place it down. So I think we'll go over to Tony and Chloe's house. These are our married with baby couple. And then you want to go into, oh, the promotion or store has expanded its stock and added a, new, a home or a catalogue. Check out the new hobby and career items tab in the home store. Okay, well, we just want to go into our infantry and here we have a telescope. So the telescope that you just bought, let's just go ahead and place it at the front there. And then we want to look for a horse for five minutes. We've spotted horses with a telescope. Now we need to head over to Mystery Island. There's the horse near that volcano. Your sim should go over for a closer look. Go to Mystery Island. So on the Simtown map, click on the bridge that takes us over to the island. Or actually, you can click on this volcano here that will just take you straight over to the island. Task complete. Now spot the overgrown stables. Interesting, it seems there's a whole stable near the volcano, or well, at least there used to be. It's very run down and overgrown now, so you'd better bring your sim inside and start building. Tap on the stables icon near the volcano. So over here is the huge volcano, and we have the stables icon here that we need to go ahead, click on. Oh, we just need to click on it. I thought we needed to build it, but no, we just need to click on it for now. Now we need to call the mysterious number. What? The gate is locked. But what's this? A note is attached to the gate with a phone number written on it. Perhaps it's the owner's number. Go home and call the mysterious number on a phone. Click on our phone. Call mysterious number. 1 minute 48 seconds here at the bottom. That's a two star phone. We've called the mysterious number. Now we need to read a horse care manual. 
The sim on the other end of the phone said that the stables belonged to them and there's no way they'll just give it over to someone like your sim who doesn't understand horses and how much love they need. Read a horse care manual. You can find it on a bookshelf. So I'm not sure. Yeah, we do have a bookshelf over here. This is a two-star bookshelf. And the horse care manual is over on the right-hand side. 11 hours and 30 minutes. Remember these times may be different for you depending on if you're using a one-star, two-star or three-star item. We've finished reading the horse care manual. Now we need to call the mysterious number again. Now your sim has a great understanding of what goes into horse care. Call the sim back to convince them that your sim knows what they are doing. So we go ahead and click on a phone again and we need to call the mysterious number for 4 minutes and 30 seconds. While we are doing that, I think we're going to go ahead and add another sim into the game. So we have actually got a spare house now because I have moved... Emma and Polly in together. They have become best friends and I'll show you actually. I'm in the middle of redoing their house a little bit so that they have two bedrooms. They are not best friends but they are becoming best friends. What does annoy me, something that annoys me, when you move into, uh, when you move sims in together, they take the last name of the other one. So Polly, who was Polly Cole, because she's moved in with Emma Thompson, is now Polly Thompson. I would really like it if we had an option to not have to do that. Who's with me? Let me know down below. That would be pretty good. Right, to be honest, like I want Chloe to still be Chloe Pepper. You can see that Chloe is Chloe Walker now as well, but never mind. There's nothing we can do about that at the moment. I'm going to add the sim into this Japanese house for now. If you didn't see my video, using the Japanese house is a way, or building the Japanese house, I should say, is a way that I am making money early on in the game. You can, you can see that I have got like 160,000, which is quite a lot for this early on in the game. And it is from building Japanese houses. Upon the screen or down below, I'll put a link to that video where I talk about building Japanese houses. It was a tip that somebody actually left me down below in the comments. So I want to actually delete this house, but for now, I will just add a new sim in. So let's go ahead and add sim, and we have a suggestion. This is going to be another male sim, because we're a very female-oriented town at the moment. I think we have, we have four females and one male. So if you are commenting down below with boy sims, male sims, you are more likely to get your sim into the town just because most people are commenting for girl sims and I kind of would want to have a mix of both male and female. Now this suggestion was from Trend Central and they have asked for Ryan Giva. Giva, is that how we say it? I'm not exactly sure how you would pronounce that, but it is Ryan Giva. Giva? And how they look, they want brown hair, pale skin, short hair. So, pale skin, like very pale skin? Or, let's go with, I mean, pale, let's go with very pale skin. Let's, because I don't think we've got a sim with very pale skin. Go with pale skin. And then we, what do we need? Brown hair. So, let's take a little look. Brown, brown, short hair. So... I mean, to be honest, we've not. Every time I do this, I'm like, well, we haven't really got much options. Should we go with this? I feel like it's either that one or what's this one? Hmm. No, let's go with this one for now. And then, in terms of the look, I actually don't mind how he looks. I quite like that outfit. I may go ahead and stick with that outfit. You know, I may want to change the eye colour to brown. I think I like that look. I'm going to go with that. I didn't get any comments from Trend Central with sort of clothes and what they want them, their sim to wear. So let's just go ahead and add Ryan into the town like this. So let me know how you want Ryan to fit into the game. Who's, is he going to be somebody's love interest? Is he going to be Tony's best mate? Um, maybe he could be his enemy. Let me know how you would like him to fit in. But let's go over to Melissa, who has finished on this mysterious number. Now she needs to look up a locksmith on a computer. The stable's owner says he'll give your sim a chance to prove themselves, but they don't have the keys to the place anymore. You'll need to get a locksmith down there pronto. Search for a good locksmith on the internet using a computer. 
So let's go ahead and click and we need to look up locksmith for 7 minutes and 12 seconds. We have finished looking up a locksmith on a computer. Now we need to build the stables. Perfect. The locksmith sure could talk but is finally ready to head to the stables and get the gate open. Now it's time to head down there. Build the stables. So let's head over to Mystery Island. And now we're over here, let's click on the stables and this is going to take 9 hours and 30 minutes for me and cost 15,000 and we need 7 sims. So thankfully we have just added that sim because that means we now have 7 sims. We didn't have 7 before that, that was... That was pretty handy and hopefully you have got seven sims. Hopefully if you haven't, you know, obviously just add them in and hopefully you've got enough money. If you've been following along with these tutorials and these walkthroughs, then you should have enough money because I have been giving you some tips along the way. If you haven't, then go ahead and just check out the previous videos because I will give you some tips there with how to get more money. So let's go ahead and get this started. This could be different for you. You could have different requirements depending upon how many buildings you already have got built within your world. It's always different. It goes up in price. The more places you have built, the more expensive each one becomes. So let's get that started. Nine hours and 30 minutes. And whilst that is happening, yeah, I'm going to go and try and complete the cooking hobby a few times. And I'm going to build some more Japanese houses to get some more simoleons. Hopefully when we come back when these stables are built, let's take a look at them actually, I've never seen them like in the stages of being built. Well, whilst the stables has been built, I have leveled up to level 12. We've unlocked a sim, unlocked a house, we got one LP and then we also unlocked all this new furniture that we can now place in our houses. Oh, we've got the bathinator, I like that bath. I don't really use it, it must be worth LP, it must cost LP to buy that, but it looks pretty cool, it's like the sci-fi bath what else have we got mm, quite a lot of items to be honest those boat doors are pretty cool and then we've got some different wallpaper some new lights oh we have some pool stuff to go in any pools although I don't think I have any pools at the moment awesome and then we have some patio stuff that we can place we have leveled up again because I'm doing lots of stuff with The Sims. I'm doing the cooking hobby over and over and over again. I am leveling up quite quickly. So we've unlocked a, another Sim with level 13. We've got one LP. Quite a few kitchen items there. There seems to be an awful lot of stuff that we have unlocked with level 13. That modern stereo is one of my faves. And the Scandinavian bed as well. They're available for SP, which is a shame. But I really do like them. We've got lots of lounge items, some doors, some windows, loads of stuff. Oh, the dragon statue, I really like that, it's so expensive. The stables are now finished, so head on over to Mystery Island and click on them. And that is task complete. Now we need to send a sim to the stables. Success. Now call a sim to the stables so we can go in and see what the stables look like for the first time. And here we are over, there's a little barn for our horses and there are three different areas for the various different horse hobbies. We've got the tricks hobby, we have the vaulting hobby, that's one I always forget about, the vaulting. And we have the show jumping hobby, we do have to clear these areas up before we can use them. You can see they're not very clean there, but let's whistle over a sim. And now we need to clean up the mess in front of yard. Well, the barn is built, but not much else, and what a mess. The yard beside the barn is blocked by a big oil drum. Have a sim, get it out of the way. Tap on an oil drum and choose remove. So, we have over here, you can see it's got a little exclamation mark if you don't know where you need to go. Click on that and remove for four minutes. We have finished up cleaning up the mess in front of the yard. Now we need to have four sims over at the stables. Excellent, that's gotten the yard open but there's a lot of mess inside, too much for one sim to handle, call over some friends to help out, have four sims at the stable, so let's whistle over some other sims, task complete, now we need to clean, clean up the mess in the yard with your sims, now there's a few eager hands ready to help out, let's get cracking, 
clean up all the mess inside the yard using your four sims. So I would recommend actually not just using your four sims here. As many sims as you have got, I would whistle over. I only have six adults, so I'm going to use all of my six adults. And we have to clean up this whole mess here. These things to clear up all take a different amount of times. And some are really quick and some are hours. So what you want to do is the water trough is the longest at 10 hours. So definitely get that started first off. And then you have a large rock pile that's seven hours. The tree stump is six hours. Uh, there is a small rock pile somewhere. Is this it? Yes, yeah, small rock pile here is four hours. There is a tyre here that is one hour and 30 minutes. We've got one more sim left. So we'll do these wild grasses because they are... 30 seconds, they don't take long at all. We've also got weeds and thistles to clear up. The weeds are five minutes and the thistles are 30 minutes. So if you've got eight sims, absolutely get them all over here and it will take you 10 hours to complete this. If you haven't got eight sims yet, then just get as many as you have over and make sure you start the longer items first. We've cleared the wild grass, so you can see that we've got the weeds there for 5 minutes and the thistles there for 30 minutes. Everyone has finished clearing up. We have finished that task, clean up mess in the yard. Now we need to watch the horse channel. Wonderful! In order to get the hobbies operational, your sims will need to do a lot of clearing and tidying up like this. Now, before your sims think about getting a horse, they really need to be schooled in the art of horse care and proper animal treatment. There's a fantastic horse channel on TV that would be perfect to watch. Have a sim watch the horse channel on a TV. So we need to head back home. This is the area now, all nicely cleaned up. And let's use this TV here to watch the horse channel for 10 minutes. This is only a one star telly though, so you can probably do that quicker. We've finished watching the horse channel. Now we need to practice brushing on another sim. Oh, I love this interaction so much. One of the best things about owning a horse is brushing its long mane. It can be very therapeutic, but still requires some careful technique. Have a sim practice their brushing skills on another sim. Go on, they won't mind. I think we might get Ryan involved. Ryan hasn't really done anything at the moment. So let's do Ryan and... Polly. Maybe Ryan and Polly could get together. What do we think? Maybe? Let me know what you think about that. But let's click on another sim and practice brushing for three minutes and just look at this. How <laughs> cute is that action? I love it so much. Like actually got a brush out and is <laughs> brushing her back and she's like pretending to be a horse. That is now finished. Now we need to encourage a sim. What beautiful brushing. Horses also love encouragement and attention. Have a sim encourage another sim to make sure they have the hang of this. Encourage a sim. So let's click on another sim and practice encouraging. Top right is four minutes. We finished encouraging a sim. Now we need to repair a stable. Almost ready for your new neighbour. <laughs> First, your horse will need somewhere to hang his horseshoes for the night though. Go to the stables, then tap on the barn stable to start repairing it. And then once we're at the stables over here, we go over to the barn and you can see this flashing padlock. Click on that and we'll repair that for one hour and five minutes. That costs 30000 That's a lot of money. Hopefully you have got enough money to do this. When the stable's finished, you'll get a little pop-up that says your new stable is complete. Time to have some fun. So here it is. Let's click on it. And ooh, our town is now worth 206000 simoleons. That's task complete on that. Call the stable's owner back. To own more horses, your sims will need to repair more of the barn. Let's see what the owner of the stables thinks now. Call the mysterious number again. We are on the phone a lot in this quest, right? So, over at someone's house, and we'll click on a phone and call the mysterious number. That is 1 minute and 48 seconds. I am still trying with the cooking hobby whilst I'm doing this quest. Oh, that got a repeat there. Yeah, I've got like three, three or four of my sims working on the cooking hobby to try and get more and more LP. 
I am starting to get a lot of repeats though. I wasn't at first. I was doing really well, but now, yeah, see, loads of repeats. What have I got? Oh, I only need one more. That's why I'm getting lots of repeats at the moment. One more, and then I'll fill the grid, and we'll win five more LP. That's good. And how generally I'm doing this is just like, you know, if you're just sitting watching something on the telly. Oh, yes, there we go. We got the last one that we need. We've got five LPs. Perfect. We filled the whole grid up. Let's go ahead and you must remember to click this start new accessory collection. Click that, the grid is now empty and we can continue. Let's just clean that up. Yeah, but how I'm doing it is just, you know, if you're sitting watching something for half an hour or whatever, just have this with you and just be doing the cooking hobby for a minute. It's kind of, it's kind of boring and tedious, but it really does help. Um, yeah, it, it's a fantastic way to get LP. But we have completed that task. Now we need to add a horse to the stable. Oh, our first horse. Wonderful. The stable's owner is pleased as punch with your Sims efforts. Because of all your hard work, the stables are yours. It's time to introduce the horse to their new home. Tap on the icon over the repaired barn stable and choose the horse. So we need to go back over to Mystery Island and to the stable. And once we're over at the stables, come over where we cleared it out before and we can add a horse. So horses are pretty expensive. The cheapest one is 15,000 for this one star horse. We can buy one for 10 SP, which we haven't got any SP at the moment, so we can't get that one. And we can't get the others because horses are kind of like objects. Horses are one star, two star, and three star. And at the moment, we can only get the one star horses. And then we need to complete the tricks hobby to unlock the two star horses. And then once we've got the two star horses, we can do the vaulting hobby. And then when we've completed that hobby, we'll unlock the three star horses. And then with the three star horses, you can do the show jumping hobby. And the show jumping hobby unlocks the unicorn, which is amazing. I love the unicorn. But for now, the option, the only real option that we can go for is this dappled grey horse for 15,000 simoleons. Yes, let's buy him. Oh, and look. Oh, we can't look. <laughs> Let's have a look in a second. Now we need to feed the horse. How exciting. Your sims have their very first horse. But something's wrong. See how the horse's head is down? It looks sad. Whatever, whenever a horse is sad, your sim can feed, pat and groom it to raise its happiness level. Have a sim feed the horse. Note, you can see the horse's happiness level by tapping on the horse. It's right under the horse's name. So this is how it works with all pets, actually. Let's bring Ryan over. Ryan hasn't been involved in much. How it works with all pets. So the all pets has this happiness. Oh, his name is Jason Bornhofen. His happiness level is all the way down. We can ride the horse. In fact, can we ride the horse? Let's see what happens if we say ride horse. I don't think I've ever tried to do this before. Do we just bring him out of his like little barn area there? Oh, I have never done this before. Oh wow, and then we control, do we control, oh wow, okay I didn't even know this was a thing, right let's get off, let's dismount horse, that's cool, but going back to his happiness level, he's come out of his stable thing now, uh, we can pet him for his happiness, feed the horse and groom the horse. And right now we need to feed the horse and it will give him a little bit of happiness because he's very miserable right now, the poor thing. So let's feed him for six minutes and five seconds. We have finished feeding the horse and that is quest complete. Again, you can see at the bottom, 100% complete. And congratulations, your sims can now keep care for and ride their very own horses. So these are the first pets. Well, I say pets, they're kind of pets, but they're not really pets. Like we can't have them in our own houses and things, but they're kind of like pets. Now repair and clear the hobby areas in the stables to enter your horses in tricks, vaulting and show jumping hobbies. We will take a look at those different hobbies in an upcoming video when we get chance. We're still plowing through the quests at the moment. I've said before we've got quite strict time limits on these quests at the moment and we're just having to go through them all quite quickly before we kind of do anything else in this series. And because we completed it in the time limit, 
we got this unicorn painting. Your enthusiasm for horses has not gone unnoticed, so treat yourself to this fabulous painting of the ultimate horse, a unicorn. Hang it up in your horsiest Sims homes. We'll check those out in a second. But now we have unlocked a quest for toddlers. That is the new quest that we have got. Now we can have toddlers in our game. So we've got babies. We can now grow them up into toddlers. So let's check out the limited time prize first. In the home store and in the decorations tab, we have the magical unicorn painting. You can see that the first one is free. Replace it down here and then from then on after you've placed your first one they are 10,000 simoleons each. This is it. It is pretty nice but I mean to be honest I don't ever really use it personally. It's quite a nice painting but I wouldn't bother too much about not completing that quest within the time limit to be honest. Of course the main thing that we have unlocked with this quest is the stables and horses. We need to make Jason happier so let's uh, just pet him. You can see that there's space for six horses, just ignore this little superhero running around. He is part of a discovery quest. But yeah, space for six horses. We've unlocked one, obviously, where Jason the horse lives. And the rest we have to repair, kind of with everything over at the stables. Everything's run down, everything has to be repaired. So you have to build them up, and some cost simoleons, some cost LP. Some, I think, are lot. Yeah, so requirements have to be at level 16 to unlock that one. And it costs a lot of money to repair all these stables. And obviously you can go ahead and add a horse when you have space. The horses at the moment, like I said throughout the quest, are we're limited to just getting the one star horses at the moment. We have to complete the tricks hobby to get the two star. And then we have to complete the vaulting hobby to get the three star horses. And the areas are these areas here. We have the tricks hobby gate, which we can start repairing. And then once we've done that, we can do the vaulting hobby. And then once we have done that, we can't do this at the moment. We have to complete the hidden unicorn conquest. But yeah, we have to complete the hidden unicorn quest and have done the vaulting hobby to do the show jumping. I am going to make a separate video all about the different horse hobbies and stuff because I feel like it's not complicated, but there's a lot to it. So stay tuned for that. That will be coming soon in the series. I am going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And stay tuned for a quest for toddlers coming soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello.